Hello and welcome to today's Dwelling in the Word. Our Advent reading for today is Hebrews chapter 13 verses 9 through 14. We are looking forward to the city that is yet to come. So let's dive right in. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace, not by eating ceremonial foods which is of no benefit to those who do so. We have an altar from which those who minister at the tabernacle have no right to eat. The high priest carries the blood of animals into the most holy place as a sin offering, but the bodies are burned outside the camp. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy through his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp, bearing the disgrace he bore. For here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking forward to the city that is to come, the word of God. I want you to linger over this thought. We, we have an altar from which those who minister at the tabernacle, have no right to eat. Now, these words were written while the temple in Jerusalem was still standing. There were specific offerings that were made at the temple of the Lord that only the priests and their family were able to eat. That was their privilege, and it was the way that the Lord provided for the priests and their families. They were allowed to eat a portion of some of the sacrifices and nobody else could eat these holy offerings because they were sacred to the Lord and sacred to the priests and their families who served the Lord at the temple. And unless you belong to one of these families, you could not eat from the sacrifice that had been offered on the altar of the Lord. Now, every Lord's Day, we gather together to eat the bread and to drink the cup of the Lord. We are participating in the Lord's altar. Jesus is our Passover lamb, as we read in 1 Corinthians 5 and verse 7. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, the Apostle Paul says that we have a participation in the body and the blood of Christ as we eat and drink the sacred meal together. Christ himself has provided the sacrifice. He laid down his life for us all. He poured out his blood for us all. And now he invites all of us to eat and to drink. He wants all of us to share in all of the blessings that his death and resurrection have accomplished. So staying with this image of Christ's sacrifice for us, the writer of Hebrews reminds us that Jesus suffered outside the city gate to make us holy through his own blood. So let's now go to him, is the urge. Let's go to Jesus in our lives and even in our bodies. Let us be willing to bear the disgrace that he bore. Let us be willing to suffer and to be insulted if necessary for the sake of following Jesus and honoring his name. And that's exactly what the early Christians did. And we need to be committed to that whenever it's necessary to the same extent that they were. That we are not ashamed to own our Lord or to suffer for the sake of his name that we would be willing to bear the same disgrace that he bore for us. He did it for us, and that we would be willing to do it for him. And whenever this happens, let us remind one another that we have something better. We have something permanent in Christ. For here, we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking forward to that city that is to come. So live for Jesus and live for that city that is yet to come.